Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question which says that Evaluate 1. Limit x tends to pi by 2. 1 minus sin x by cos x. 2. Limit x tends to pi by 2. 1 minus sin x by cortex. L. Hopital's rule states that If fx and gx are the two functions such that f of a is equal to 0 and g of a is equal to 0, then limit x tends to a fx upon gx is equal to limit x tends to a f dash x by g dash x. With this key idea, we shall proceed with the solution. We need to find the value of the expression limit x tends to pi by 2 1 minus sin x by cos x. Now if we put the value of x as pi by 2 in the given expression we get 1 minus sin of pi by 2 by cos of pi by 2 which is equal to 1 minus 1 as sin pi by 2 is 1 upon cos pi by 2 which is 0 which is equal to 0 by 0 so this is of 0 by 0 form now we use L. Hopital's rule which states that if fx and gx are the two functions such that f of a is equal to 0 and g of a is equal to 0 then limit x tends to a fx upon gx can be written as limit x tends to a f dash x upon g dash x. Now using L. Hopital's rule we have limit x tends to pi by 2 Now differentiating the numerator with respect to x we get differentiation of 1 with respect to x is 0 minus of differentiating sin x with respect to x we get cos x upon differentiating cos x with respect to x we get minus of sin x which is equal to limit x tends to pi by 2 minus of cos x by minus of sin x which can be written as limit x tends to pi by 2 cos x upon sin x Now on putting x is equal to pi by 2 in the given expression we get cos of pi by 2 by sin of pi by 2 which is equal to cos pi by 2 that is 0 upon sin pi by 2 that is 1 0 by 1 is equal to 0 therefore the value of the expression limit x tends to pi by 2 1 minus sin x by cos x is equal to 0 which is the required answer. Next we have limit x tends to pi by 2 1 minus sin x by cot x. 
Now, if we put the value of x as pi by 2 in the given expression, we get 1 minus sine of pi by 2 by cot of pi by 2, which is equal to 1 minus sine pi by 2 is 1 and cot pi by 2 is 0, which is equal to 0 by 0. So, this is also of 0 by 0 form. So, using L. Hopkins rule, we have limit x tends to pi by 2 differentiating the numerator with respect to x we have differentiation of 1 with respect to x is 0 minus differentiation of sin x with respect to x is cos x upon differentiating cot x with respect to x we get minus cos x square x which can be written as limit x tends to pi by 2 minus of cos x upon minus of cos x square x that is limit x tends to pi by 2 cos of x into 1 upon cos x square of x can be written as sin square of x now putting the value of x as pi by 2, we get cos of pi by 2 into sin square pi by 2 which is equal to cos pi by 2 is 0 into sin square pi by 2 that is 1 square which is equal to 0. Therefore, the value of the expression limit x tends to pi by 2 1 minus sin x by cot x is equal to 0 which is the required answer. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.